Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Today we are reviewing the new InstaDry drying towel slash cloth from Autoglim. Okay guys, welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Today we are doing a review of this new drying towel from Autoglim. Before we get stuck into this drying towel, the Red Peril is back. It's been off the road for about two months. That damage, that flat spot on, or not flat spot, but that banged alloy, it's ended up costing about the best part of 5,000 pounds to sort out. Um, BMW replaced the alloy in the tire. I got them to do the other tire as well. Um, and then they couldn't align, you know, when they do the, the wheel alignment, it was out of tolerance and they, so something was damaged in there. And then they recommend when, they, when that's happened that you replace all of the components that are involved, including the steering rack, um, which is interesting. Anyway, it's all been done, it's gone through the insurance um, and the alloy wheel, the replacement alloy wheel, because it couldn't be fixed, that banana alloy, as I said before, um, it didn't colour match the ones that were on the car because the BMW dealership that I bought it from refurbished them all, blew over the face of them, didn't colour match it very well. So the new, the new alloy was a different colour. So I had to get the alloy wheels refurbished as well. And I had to pay for that, although the insurance said they'll pay for the refurb cost of the one that was damaged, which was fair enough actually. So they've been really good. So the car's pretty much all done. Uh, Trish the Cars did the um, alloy wheel refurb for us guys that I have known and used for years Tom and Harry and they've done a good job so thanks very much they also sprayed all of the wheel weights to match the color of the the alloy there's nothing worse in my opinion and I, I know I'm a little bit kind of um, over the top with all this but I hate when you get an alloy wheel refurbished and then you have either the steel weights which rot um, or some of them do um, or the ones that are sprayed light gray that looks even worse on a dark gray finish for me so um they, they they agreed to do it and they gave me a load of spares if i ever need to um get the tires done so i'm sorted there brilliant i've also sprayed the lower valance or the whatever it's called the bit of trim at the back gloss black and i'm going to be tinting out the rear lights possibly tinting out the front headlights uh, and then rebadging gloss black on the on the car and then it's finished and I think it's looking quite good great to get it back and drive it anyway let's get stuck into this review of the Auto Glim Insta Dry drying towel now first up what is this thing because this is unique guys this new drying cloth slash towel from Auto Glim let's just go through the specs of it it's 48 by 45 centimeters roughly so it's a small thing a bit bigger than a normal microfiber cloth a bit smaller than a drying towel um, the price of it I, again if you get it through your auto glim franchisee the price always varies auto glim don't set a price with their franchise um, you know uh, partners that they set their own you know um, so you could find the price of this at around seven pounds something like that maybe a little bit more um, for the cloth now, I mentioned, or did I mention, it was developed in conjunction with Vileda, who, um, Vileda you'll know if you're in the UK, for, for their mops, fam made famous for their mops. Um, now, it uses um, a combination of microfiber and PVA, so a form of kind of, what's PVA stand for? Plastic vinyl, something like that, acrylic, I don't know. You know what PVA is, like they use it in wood glue and stuff. It's a sort of resinous thing, or don't quote me on that, I'm just guessing. So it's, it's weird, the, the, the format of this, it feels, it feels just feels weird. It feels a bit like a rubbery wetsuit. Um, I've not felt anything like it, and uh, it's a little bit unusual. Um, so yeah, a combination of like an embalmed microfiber towel and PVA. How do you use this thing? Well, you should use it wet. When it comes dry, it feels like it feels like blotting paper when you first get it, like a little piece of paper. When you get it wet, it feels a little bit more kind of rubbery. So you soak it first in water, then bring it out, and then it is ready to be used on your car. So you simply, how are you gonna use this? Well, you know, it's a towel to start off with, but is there any sort of special techniques or tips with it? 
Well, the first thing I found is that if you kind of place it flat, the whole towel onto the surface of the car, it kind of sticks down to it a little bit. So you're not going to plonk this on the car and start sort of wiping it all over the place. I don't think personally is the best way to use it. If you're not going to plonk the whole towel down on the car, you just want to kind of grip one edge and then you can just kind of run it and sheet it off of the car. If you want to use it that way, and that's good because you're not putting any pressure on top of the towel. The other way is perhaps to just fold the towel four ways, especially if you're doing the side of the car where that's, you know, where you don't want it all kind of drooping over the place. Fold it over there four ways and place it on the, the panel and you can pinch it if you like and then just swipe over the car. So that's how you use it and that's what it is. And now I just want to go into the kind of positive and negatives with it and my overall conclusions. So let's start with the positives. The biggest positive with this product is that you can use it all day long. Do one car, two car, three car, four car, five car, six car, seven car, eight car. You, you're, it's designed to be used wet. So once you've, once it's saturated, you then wring it out and you'll see all the water coming out of it. And then it just kind of feels a little bit damp and then it can pick up more water. You will have probably be wringing this out at least 10 times. You know, it's only a small cloth. So after you've done a pass over a panel, you give it a quick wring out and then go again. That is its number one strength, and that's one of the main advantages over the other formats that, that you can use to dry your cars, that you can use it all day long. Another positive that is probably a good size, if they'd have made this into a larger towel, every time you got to wring it out, it had just been a pain, and you'd be wringing it in sections and working your way down. So it really has to be this size for this particular kind of format of drying towel. Like I say, any bigger would be too awkward to use, and there'd be too much stuff flapping around and all, all sorts of that. So it's a good size. And like I say, when you're using it on the side of the panel, best folded four ways. Another thing about this is it's easy to maintain. After you've used it to kind of dry a couple of cars, you also glimmer advise you can stick this in the washing machine. I think it can be washed up to 95 deg. There's a little kind of imprinted label on there that says kind of 95. Uh, I don't believe you tumble dry it, you just wash it and spin it and then it's kind of, um, you know, you take it out and it will feel virtually dry and then you just, you know, let it air dry and it's ready to use again next time. You can also just wash it out in the sink with a small amount of um, liquid detergent in a little plastic bowl, if you like, and just rinse it through there, you know, rub it up against itself a little bit if, it, if it's not dirty, you know what I mean? Um, so there's that option as well and then just rinse it through with water, wring it out and then just let it air dry and it's ready to go. So it's easy to maintain. That's the positives. What negatives with this particular product? Well, the first big one and the biggest difference for me between this and, and other formats of, of drying towel, if you like, you know, most obviously the microfiber drying towel, is this product doesn't have like some soft, fluffy microfiber nap which is going to sit on your paintwork. Um, so it's a flat kind of material closer to, to the chamois leather, you know, which is a uh, now in the detailing scene considered a faux pas so this feels closer to like how you used to dry your car with a kind of chamois leather um, although apparently it's more absorbent um, the second thing is when you're using this i just found when i first used it for the first time i was trying to trying to use it too cautiously and like you know really be careful when i put it on the panel and try and move my hand really lightly and stuff and this material kind of can stick a little bit to the paintwork. So you've really got to just trust the product when you're using it and kind of get hold of it and wipe it over that panel. If you try and go too gentle with it, it, it becomes a little bit kind of sticky on the panel. Um, so that was a thing that I noticed as a negative. Um, also another negative with this particular towel is it's good for, it's designed or developed for drying off panels on cars and glass as well. It's very good on glass. But where you get kind of trapped water, like in grills and other areas of your car that you could sort of push a microfiber into and kind of soak up some of that water, this cloth that's kind of damp isn't quite as good in that sort of function. So imagine trying to wrap this around a wing mirror and soak and pull up all the water that's in all the little channels and stuff. It's not quite as good as a microfiber cloth for doing that, in my opinion. So those are the, the, the positives and negatives. And now I'm gonna go on to my final conclusions with this thing. Oh, Jesus. 
Right, I just did my final conclusions and didn't have the microphone turned on again. What an idiot. Okay, let's do this again. Final conclusions on the ins Auto Glim Insta Dry drying towel slash cloth. Um, as with ever, everything guys, there's gonna be a whole range of opinion. There are, I speak to a lot of people and some guys dry their, won't dry their car with anything that involves contact. They'll use air because they don't wanna to touch the paintwork even with a microfiber cloth. Um, so you've got that level of kind of concern, let's call it concern with the car. And I, I kind of understand that, you know, but uh, I, you know, I, I touch my car with microfiber cloths. But then after that, you've got kind of a level where people might use a microfiber cloth, but they won't move it on the panel because moving it could drag dirt and scratch stuff. So they'll pat all over the, the car, which takes a lot longer. Um, so they'll use a certain format of towel. Um, you get some that will use the twist weaves like I tend to and just go around very lightly and matador it, you know, camping it up there um, and just get 90% of the standing water off um, without any pressure and trying to do it carefully and then coming back in with another cloth perhaps and uh, soaking up some of the other areas or a bit of air as well. But we've got to be careful with the air because it can blow dust everywhere as well. It just depends. So anyway, I'm getting a little bit carried away. Um, those particular options, I believe, are safer than this option because this product doesn't have a nap. So it's what happens when it encounters dirt where I think microfiber has an advantage. Um, that being said, this product has an ace card. That you, you know, if you're in the trade and you, you, you can't, you've got to have to buy 20 or 30 microfiber drying towels and wash them every day and dry them every day, and reuse them. Um, that's probably not going to be viable and it's going to cost you a lot of money. So this is a towel that you could use all day long, 24 by seven, if you're washing at night, uh, 365 days a year. And that's its main advantage. Um, so that's the kind of trade off. Would I use it at home? Um, I would go for a microfiber towel guys. And I mentioned that Auto Glim will sell you a microfiber towel. So I think they understand that there's preference kind of out there. I would use a microfiber towel because I'm only typically doing one car and I feel I can, I feel I can go in a little bit safer with that microfiber towel and I can, you know, I can get it into all of the kind of uh, grill gaps and stuff like that, wrap it around my wing mirrors. That works, that works for me. Um, other people may disagree. So let me know your opinion on this product, guys, the Insta Dry. Anyone that's used it, I'm interested because it is so weird. It's so different. Um, so if anyone's used it, let me know. If you haven't used it, just let us know what your kind of preference is with drying towels. So I hope I've done that fair. You know, not everything on the channel is gonna come through and I'm gonna sort of throw out everything I've been using before and replace it with this. Um, so I'm not kind of, even though I wouldn't use this, I'm not kind of disgusted by it or anything like that. I can still see some of the advantages, but it's probably just not quite for me and how I dry my particular car. So that is the Auto Glim Insta Dry drying towel, guys. Um, loads going on, on the channel i've got a i've mentioned i've got the betsy coming back in and i want i'm itching to get this polishing done on it and um, i just want to decide what to use um whether or not i'm going to use the the primer silica primer polish underneath the um geon synchro you know so i'll have the primer first then I'll have two or three layers of base coat and then I'll have my top coat and then I can maintain it with another coat of something. I've forgotten what it is. And then I've got some other stuff that I can put on top of that as well. It'd be one, one hell of a sandwich. Um, it's just a lot of work, but um, I want to kind of live it, you know, put it on my car, follow the package. Because I know the ceramic is good, you know, the John Ceramic package, the Synchro is excellent. So I want to actually live with it on the car for a couple of years and... and um, and then I'll really know how good it is because it's going to be a considerable undertaking to put all of that on, on the car. Um, and I might, after two or three years, I might be like, oh, I'm not doing that again. That's too much work even for me. Um, or I might be like, yeah, fair play. That's given me really good performance. I'll do it again. Um, and I might even enjoy the process of putting it on, but it's going to be a hell of a lot of work. Even putting one layer of ceramic coating on is a lot, but I've got to probably put in four and a primer underneath it, five, and then the top coat anti water spot thing, six, and then I'm going to maintain it with something else, seven. Uh, so that's just a bit of fun. That's been you can tell that's been going through my head all these all these different layers. 
Um, so that's where I am with the particular car at the moment. Anyway, I'm rattling on, guys. I will see you on the next video. Take care and all the best. Bye for now. Where was I when